Hello. Today we're going to be looking at a question from a viewer. That is his name right there on the screen. I don't really know how to pronounce it, um, but that's why I put it up on the screen for you guys. And his question basically is, um, how do you know whether a program is installed on your system or not? Uh, so lots of times I tell you, you know, this program may not be installed by default. Go ahead and install it. And how do you check to see if it's installed is basically his question. And there's a number of ways to do that. Um, and I've said in the past, as far as package managers, I like using Aptitude, uh, which if you're using uh, the most current version of Ubuntu, they recently removed it from being installed by default. Funny, if, since that's the topic. So anyway, if you're running Ubuntu, go ahead, sudo apt-get install aptitude and hit enter. And it will ask you for your password and it will install it. It's just one of those things that Ubuntu removed. Uh, most Debian-based distributions will have it installed by default. Um, I disagree with their choice to remove it, but there's a lot of things that I can disagree with with uh, with Ubuntu's choice. I'm not bashing Ubuntu. I mean, it's not my favorite distro, but I'd say it's in the top 10, maybe top five uh, distros that I like. Um, but they do a lot of things I don't like out of the box. But the great thing about open source uh, is that you can make it anything you want. So when people complain, talk about this distro is better than this, this distro, and there might be little things that, that really make them better technically. But for the most part, it's, it's a matter of opinion because uh, it's, it's how it is out of the box really that you're talking about because uh, Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint, these are all, well, Debian's Debian, but Ubuntu and Mint are Debian-based. So technically they can be anything you want them to be. They're just different out of the box. So. Anyway, I'm getting off subject here. Go ahead and install Aptitude if you don't haven't had it installed. And um, I'm going to give you an example here since it's where he wrote the comment. Is I'm going to say Aptitude, search, and I'm hitting tab to autocomplete here. Um, and then the I'm going to do EXIF. And that is the uh, program that I just did a tutorial on that you can edit uh, the meta tags in a JPEG file. So we're gonna, it's going to search for it. It brings up anything that says EXIF in it. But here's the program right here. And you see right here, it has a P. That means it's not installed. Let's go ahead and install that. I'm going to do sudo aptitude install. And I'll type in my password. And right now it will go out to a server, use an encryption key to make sure that we're really connected to who we're thinking we're connecting to. It's going to download it and install it. And this is a package that has been uh, thoroughly checked by the package uh, maintainers. So now it is installed. And if we run this command again, aptitude search and search for it, you'll see now it has an I over here. Uh, and that's one of the things, uh, one of the advantages, I think, uh, and I don't think I mentioned in my video, but someone mentioned it in the comments, of aptitude over apt-get. It's just a fuller program gives you more options. Um, and you can see right there, right away, it tells you that it is installed because there's that I there. Another way, a quicker way to see if a program is installed is to start typing it. I'll type in EXI and I'll hit tab a few times. And you can see that it gives me a list here of programs that are installed that are available for me to use. And so you can see EXIF is installed. Um, another program for webcams, I'll type in, uh, it's called Cheese. I'll type in CHE. I'll hit tab twice. And you can see Cheese shows up. If it wasn't installed, it wouldn't show up. Same thing will go GIMP. And you can see it auto completed. GIMP is installed. That's the quickest way to know if a program is installed. And for the most part, that is going to work for you. There are some distributions where if a program was meant for a uh, root user, if you don't do sudo first, if you just do um, like if config and you do if and con and hit tab twice, it I don't think it shows up unless you are logged in as root or have sudo before it. But the majority of applications, if your user has uh, the ability to use that program has the permissions to use it. It should show up when you double tab there. Uh, and you can use any package manager you really want. If you uh, like, I'm using Linux Mint here. 
a, uh, it has Synaptic installed by default. Uh, let me open that up. Type in my password here. My password's a bunch of dots in case I didn't catch that. Okay, so here we go. It's starting up. As far as GUI install applications, uh, this is my favorite. Uh, I still prefer Aptitude. I prefer doing stuff in the command line. It's, it's faster. Uh, and the way you can tell here if something is installed or not is, give you an example right here. I'll just search for GIMP. You can see there's white boxes next to everything. If something is installed, the box is green. Um, it's been a while since I used it, I believe, and it may be a different symbol depending on your distribution. This little uh, sun-looking thing here means that's new since we last uh, refreshed, so it's a new package. Um, obviously, if you mark something, it will have a check by it, like so. So, depending on what symbol is next to it here is telling you whether it's installed, about to be installed, check to be installed, ready for upgrade. Like, uh, if we do a search, let's see if I can remember how to do this in here, it's been so long. Um, oh, uh, status, here we go and upgradable. So this is looking for installed programs that are upgradable. And I must have recently done all my upgrades because there's nothing showing up. Oh, but I'm searching GIMP here. There we go. Thought, thought I uh, would have some here. So you can see that they have the little exclamation point here telling me that they're ready for update. And that's just, I mean, just check your package manager. Like I said, the quickest way is to hit tab. I like aptitude, but that's how you check to see if a program is installed. Uh, thank you for watching, and please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this, and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks again for watching.